Hello. Today I'm going to show you how we can add a custom column to our document list within Abbey FlexiCapture. So within my queue, I have three different documents, and each of these documents, we're extracting the last name from them. I'm going to show the last name as its own column here so that we can review it easily and see that document's last name easily from our document list. The first thing I need to do is go within our document definition and edit it. I'm going to select the last name field, and I'm going to select the index field property. From here, I will save my changes, and I will publish my changes. Now you can see the software detects that there's a new version published, so just for ease of uh, processing these, I'm going to update those now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize my column. So I'm going to right click on the column list, go to customize, and I'm going to add a new column. We're going to give it a name of last name. We're going to select which field, and you can see here, we're going to select the last name field, and I will hit OK. Once I hit OK to this customization, you will see the software will then populate that field here on the right. Of course, I can move where that's located here within our document list, but the cool part about this is that I can see the specific details that I've extracted for each separate document here within our document list, giving us a nice review option as we're looking through documents. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, a quick introduction to how we can customize the view and the interface of Abbey FlexiCapture. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you so much.